What is going on YouTube? So coming back today with my next set of NFL news and this is just mainly two bigger transactions that have happened over the last few days that I wanted to talk about one of them today. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the one that happened today, Ryan Fitzpatrick finally, finally re-signs with the Jets, one year, $12 million. So both parties have been holding out pretty much the entire offseason waiting for one to give in. Fitzpatrick hoping to get a decent amount of money and then uh, the Jets not wanting him to pay as much as he wanted him or pay him as much as he wanted. It was looking like Geno Smith was going to be the starter for a little bit. Um, obviously, Fitzpatrick the better option than Geno Smith right now, but I think it ended up working pretty well for both parties. Fitzpatrick gets more money than he would have got with really anyone else, and then also the Jets don't have to start Geno Smith, and they only, they only have to give Fitz a one-year contract. So, next piece of news, Nick Foles. So, it looks like the Cowboys... I believe it was Vikings are looking at uh, Nick Foles right now. Um, the Bills, and there was, I believe it was the Bills were looking at him and are no longer interested. Uh, the Bills already have a pretty deep set of quarterbacks right now, though. So, anyway, next piece of news. I've said this before, but wanted to mention it again in an official news video, and that is Josh Gordon is reinstated. Uh, officially reinstated by the NFL, uh, will be suspended for four games, and then will be allowed to play for the rest of the season. So we'll see if we can actually see a full good year out of, or not a full good year, but close to a full good year out of Josh Gordon. I would assume not. That's just kind of the way it's gone during Gordon's career. You know, one big season, and then just downhill from there. So final piece of news. Anquan Bolden signs a one-year deal with the Detroit Lions. I really like this deal. I really, really like this deal for both parties. Um, for one, uh, Detroit or Calvin Johnson list, Detroit Lions uh, wide receiver depth chart now gets to add a veteran to help it out. Let me see if I can pull up their depth chart. Um, I have not seen the contract details. I could not seem to find him if you know uh, what the contract was. I mean, or if you know how much the exactly how much the contract was for, let me know. Um, but again, th this was a Detroit Lions wide receiving court that was looking all right for this year. You know, they picked up Marvin Jones during the offseason, granted, for I think one of the most overpaid players in free agency, but they still got Golden Tate, one of the better receivers in the NFL, and then see if they can get something out of uh, maybe like Jeremy Curley in the slot. But now that they did get Anquan Bolden, they can, he can help mentor a young wide receiving core. Um, two guys that I think you could watch out for in the Lions wide receiver or wide receiving core. Two rookies, Quinshaw Davis and then Jay Lee. Uh, Jay Lee out of Baylor. I I don't know if he'll fit in well in the NFL, but we'll see. There was a large crop of Baylor wide receivers in the draft this year. All right, so that'll pretty much do it for this video. Like I said, wanted to mainly talk about Anquan Bolden and Ryan Fitzpatrick being acquired. Uh, two big pieces of news that um, have been some of the bigger storylines for most of the offseason where the where those two guys were going to go. I mean, pretty much everyone assumed Fitz was going to stay in New York, just didn't know how long it was going to take. So that's finally in the books. That is one of the most dragged out um, contract stories really for no reason in my mind uh way too much here way too much about something that should have been done a while ago um, i think that should have been the contract that was done in the first place but anyway that's pretty much it see ya